So what we're going to look at now is issues of kinetics. And so when we talk about chemical reactions and we talk about kinetics, we're saying how fast or slow a reaction goes. And so we typically talk about this in units of molarity per second, although we will see some variations. The key is that we have some unit of concentration over some unit of time. Now we talk about kinetics and speed in our everyday lives when we talk about things like miles per hour of how fast a car goes or feet per second or meters per minute, whatever the case may be. But we're going to be looking at it as concentration over time. So the way we actually calculate this is we say we're going to find the rate and we put the change in concentration over the change in time. And we can abbreviate this a little bit. If we look here, what we have is our delta symbol, and that means change. Our brackets mean concentration, and A is the substance we're looking at. And so we can talk about um, the change in concentration of different substances within a particular chemical reaction. And we'd have to know which one we're talking about, and then we can establish what the rate is. And so on the bottom, what we have is our change in time. Again, typically molarity per second but there are variations on that. So let's look at an example here on what we can do to solve this. So if the concentration of a product increases from 0 to 1.25 in 22 seconds, what is the rate of the reaction? So what we're looking at is for rate equals the change in concentration of our substance A, whatever that may be, over the change in time. Now, when I look at the problem, what we're given is the initial concentration, which is zero, the final concentration, it tells us we are increasing. So we can say that the rate equals 1.25 minus zero molar over time, which is 22 seconds. And what we get out of that is 0.25. 057 molar per second. And so that's how we typically report it. Notice it is a positive value because we are actually increasing the concentration. If we were talking about decreasing the concentration of something, we would have a negative sign there. Another problem, if the concentration of a substance increases from 0 0.50 to 1.25 molar in 35 seconds, what is the rate of the reaction? So we can solve this problem in a similar way. Rate equals the change in concentration of a substance over the change in time. So rate equals 1.25 minus 0 0.50 molar divided by 35 seconds. And what we end up with is rate equal to 0 0.021 molar per second. Here's a problem that's similar but using a little bit different information. It says what concentration of reactant will remain after 90 seconds if the initial concentration is 3.50 molar and the rate of change is 0 0.0040 molar per second. Now we want to look at the problem to understand a few things about what's going on. First of all, notice it says what concentration of reactant will remain. So that implies that the amount is decreasing because if it's a reactant, it's being consumed in the reaction. So we know we're going to be losing that reactant. We know that 90 seconds has passed and we know what the initial concentration is. So what we have to do is figure out First, what is our initial concentration, which we're given, 3.50 molar. The change in concentration, we're actually going to have to calculate that, as well as the final concentration. So what we can look at is I say, okay, I know the rate of change is 0 0.0040 molar per second, and I know that 90 seconds have passed, so 90 seconds. And I'm going to multiply this because that molar per second gives me a relationship between time and concentration. So 90 times 0 0.004 is going to give me 0 0.36 molar. And so that's the amount that is lost. So we're losing the 0 0.36 molar. And now I can figure out what the final concentration is because I can say 
3.50 minus 0 0.36 molar, we said that's how much we were losing, is 3.14 molar. So our final concentration, am a little bit of there, 3.14 molar. And this seems reasonable. One, we expect the concentration to go down, so we know we're going to subtract. We see that the rate of change, 0 0.0040 molar per second, is pretty slow. We're going 90 seconds, so we're not losing a ton, and we can see it goes down by a small amount.